Hey, it's Albert with Backup Electric. Here's a quick update on the EG4 inverter. Also, I've learned a few things about the settings. I want to share them with you. So, what was happening every day is in the mornings, my batteries would be pretty much all the way dead. So, the utility power would kick in and start charging my batteries and powering the loads. It would bring the batteries up to about 50%. Then, by that time, you know, the solar is producing enough. It takes over and it charges the batteries the rest of the way. I thought I had to leave it like that, but I found out that through the settings, I could change it. I no longer want my utility power to charge my batteries. Why? Because I have to pay for that utility power that's being used to charge the batteries. I have enough solar on my roof to where it can fully charge the batteries by the end of the day and still run most of the stuff. So I was able to change that on the settings. I'm gonna show you how. So here we have the setting number 10 and you get three options. I saw that this one fits my needs a lot better. So basically solar energy will be the only charger source even when utility AC input power is available. That's what I want. On these other ones, uh, utility can charge your battery. And then also over here, utility and solar will charge the battery at the same time. I don't want that because I have to pay for that power. So I put it to this setting, OSO. How do you get there? So you hold the enter button and then you're going to click down till you get to number 10. See, I already have it on the OSO because I already changed it. But if you wanted to change it, you click enter and it flashes. And then you can toggle in between the three settings. So I hit it on OSO and it stays. I was also able to make it to where it doesn't beep every time I hit this button. It got really annoying and it's really loud. Um, and that one is here, 25. It says alarm off, but it really is the beeps. So you put it on AOF here. So you go down to 25 and it's on AOF. Once again, if you wanted to change it to where it beeps again, you put it on AON and you hit enter, but I don't, I don't want that because it is really loud. Another thing I was able to do is to lock it on the screen, on the latest screen that I have it on before, uh, whenever I would want to, you know, get, see how much solar I'm producing or how much load each line is using. I would have to click the button about six to eight times. Then after about five or 10 seconds, it would automatically return to the first screen. And I had to do that over and over and over again. So now it stays on the latest screen that you want it on. So that is really convenient. And the one I leave it on the most is the one where it checks how much solar I'm producing. So right now it's, you know, 586. It just went down from 642. So it just varies. But as, as the day goes on, it just keeps rising. I think uh, the highest I've seen is about 3,200 watts. And I have uh, 4,000 watts of panels installed, so it varies. Um, anyways, it's really important to get familiar with this, with the settings, um, just because it depends on what you want to use the system for. And it has so many different settings that you can make it work, you know, however you want it to. For me, my main concern is to save money. So that's why I bypassed where the utility charges the batteries. But your main concern could be to always have a full battery at any point in case you lose power, the battery can keep you going for the longest period of time. You can also change it to where it does that. But for me, that's not, that's not my priority. So it's really great to be able to mess with it and to put it on the ideal settings for you. Um, so far, haven't had any major issues with this system, EG4. The batteries are great. They last a long time. I am pushing them. 
I'm pushing them pretty hard. I have my electric water heater on here. My entire home, except my AC, um, air handler, and the stove. Everything else, oh, and the dryer, electric dryer is not on here. Everything else in my home is being powered by this. Awesome. Thanks for watching. If you have any electrical projects you need help with in Houston, Texas, or you need help with installing one of these systems, give us a call. Backup Electric.